What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Hoare here today. Feeling a little under the weather, having showered today. Just been a rough day, but we got to get a good video for you guys for Monday. So we're going to look at the horror vinyl collection. I've been building this up for a while. I get in and out of vinyl, and right now I'm in it to win it. So I'm going to show you all the cool horror vinyl that I have. Let's start off right here with Mondo Jaws. Now this is a really cool vinyl that I just got uh, not too long ago. And uh, it's a gorgeous vinyl. And it's a two vinyl pack and very extensive from John Williams. One of the greatest scores, guys, you'll ever, in a, in a horror movie, you'll ever hear. And yes, I do think Jaws is a horror movie, adventure movie, drama, all of that. Uh, but I think no one would argue it's just one of the greatest movies. So that is Mondo Deathwaltz Jaws. It just came out pretty recently. Now, these are in no particular order, so we're just going to be going all over the place. This is Universal Studios Tour. <laughs> This is like old music from the theme park that you would hear, and it's really cool. So, uh, a lot of cool stuff from there. Um, you know, technical supervisor, coordinator. They got all the stuff written by people. Theme from Jaws is on here. Theme from Incredible, Incredible Hulk. Theme from Airport, 1975. Uh, you know, a lot of cool stuff. Got this at a flea market for like a dollar, so there's that. Next up is Hellraiser. One of the greatest guys. Just one of the greatest movies, period. Uh, one of my favorite horror movies in the world. Uh, Hellraiser is a masterpiece. There's nothing uh, that I need to say about Hellraiser that hasn't already been said. Um, the score is really good. You know, the score is not the thing you remember the most from Hellraiser, but it's still something that's incredibly important. And I love hearing this. Uh, just a great movie, great score. I love these guys. I pick them up whenever I call, whenever I find him. Sound effects of death and horror. You know, these are really cool. You know, all they are is like creeping. Creepy sounds and, you know, people screaming and like, oh, it's time for, you know, those kinds of old, look at all this stuff, long, it, multiple tracks. For instance, wolf howling, uh, creaky door closes, creaky door opens, you know, so it's actually really fun to play during Halloween time. We've got more. Haunted House, Walt Disney Studios, chilling, thrilling sounds, the same thing, you know, a lot of those cool, creepy sounds. Uh, Night Creatures, Haunted House, The Dungeon, The Witches, Encounter in the Fog. A lot of debate on the internet right now whether this is a horror movie or not. I'm just going to show it to you guys so you can see it. That's the Tunabinata, uh vinyl. Great soundtrack. Actually, a really good soundtrack. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, great stuff. Absolutely love this movie. Terminator. These are out of order, like I said, so excuse me, guys. King Kong, another great. Everybody loves King Kong, right? King Kong's classic. Um, this is a great score, guys. It's actually a really good score. When I got it, I was like, eh. But then when I actually listened to it, I was like, wow, this is actually really good. So I, I really enjoyed listening to King Kong. Friday the 13th, Harry Manfredini. One of the best scores. I think no one argues that. Um, just horror classic, 100%. So love it. That's Friday the 13th from Waxwork. Here's something not a lot of people know I have because I don't show it off, especially my buddy Drew doesn't even know I have this. Friday the 13th, the TV series soundtrack. Uh, this is actually really cool. I love the theme for the TV show from the 80s, and this is a really, really fun soundtrack. So really dig this, guys. I uh, love it. There's the vinyl right there. A horror classic, Reanimator. This is from Waxwork Records 2. Reanimator's great. You know, Reanimator is just one of the best soundtracks ever I, I you know uh, Richard Ban is a mastermind of horror even though basically this is the psycho I call it an homage I don't call it a ripoff I just think he did a really good job with reanimator so side a cat dead side b details later this is a John Carpenter staple the the they live excuse me it's hard to it's hard to figure out let me see if I can block that light it's hard to figure out exactly what this was at first uh death waltz this is one of their early releases um, great stuff, as you can see. They live. Vinyl soundtrack. Here's a Scream vinyl. This is Scream and Scream 2. Uh, love this. It's a great vinyl. Everybody loves Scream. It's kind of like a hodgepodge of both movies on side one and side two. Great stuff. You get that great Sidney Prescott theme. Coming up next, we have John Carpenter's Lost Themes. When this was announced, I was extremely interested, and it did not let me down. I absolutely loved Lost Themes. I thought it was a great soundtrack. Uh, to a non-movie, but it's like, it's in a movie in my head, you know what I mean? As a matter of fact, John actually said, this is the soundtrack to the movie in your head. Right here, guys, is the original Nightmare on Elm Street 5 vinyl soundtrack, and I love it because... Great stuff. Bruce Dickinson, Houdini, uh, Romeo's Daughter, you also got, uh, Mammoth, uh... Can't take the hurt anymore. Job Records, great stuff. Got this sealed brand new when I got it. Hit random. 
Troll, you know. <laughs> Original Motion Picture soundtrack for Troll. What a weird vinyl, right? Uh, but we got it. I think the wife just got it really cheap on Etsy one day, and she was like, I just got you this because it was cheap. That's Troll. Uh, Harry Potter is in that. All right. One of the best releases, Creep Show. God, look at that, guys. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, Creep Show is just a great soundtrack. You know, there's the vinyl. I put the vinyls in the back. I got the I got the blue, the blue vinyl in there. Um, I think they got different colors, and I was really happy to get the blue because to me, it's that movie uh, tied you over. So, you know, Creep Show is one of the best. This one I got recently. I love it. The Manhunter score, guys, because I love that movie Manhunter. This is Red Dragon. For any of those that don't know, you know, Red Dragon is basically. You know, the second movie of its of its kind. Manhunter is the original Red Dragon. Watch that movie if you haven't seen it. Coming up next, we have John Carpenter's The Thing. This uh, came out a couple years ago. My wife was like, we are getting The Thing. I want The Thing so bad. So here it is. Um, insane score. So Just so much atmosphere. Coming up next is A Nightmare on Elm Street 4. The Dream Master uh, motion picture soundtrack. This is... You know, um, uh, let's see, Love Kills by Vinnie Vincent. Um, what else you got in here? A lot of great stuff. Uh, Under the Stars, Sea Hag, Standing Over You, Angel City. Uh, let's see, just so much stuff. My Way of the Highway, Love Kills, Therapist by Vigil, Ripper to Shreds. Just just great. Great movie, great soundtrack. I love Nightmare on Elm Street 4. One of my prized possessions, Return of the Living Dead, Part 2 soundtrack. This, it says it's an import. I bought it off of eBay. I don't know how true that is, guys, so I really do apologize because I don't know. There's the vinyl in the back. I don't know if it's an import or not, but I love it. One of the rarest vinyls I own, this is a French release, I think, or UK. It's not from America. That's Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Check that out, guys. That's just really rad. Final Nightmare soundtrack on vinyl. Uh, just great. Great stuff. Iggy Pop, Young Lords. I had to import that because I think vinyl was dead in America that, by that point. Next, we've got Tales from the Dark Side. Look at that. That's creepy, right? Tales from the Dark Side is amazing. Uh, you know, just love this movie and love the soundtrack. So, uh, FYE exclusive, Nightmare on Elm Street, excuse me, Friday the 13th Part 5 vinyl. Great stuff, great soundtrack, great everything about this movie. Got to look at the back of that. Amazing. All right, next we have Death Waltz Halloween 3. Um, I bought this a long time ago. I've had it for a while. Love it to death. Love the soundtrack. Love Halloween 3. Nothing else needs to be said about Halloween 3. Another classic style vinyl. Famous Monsters Speak. Frankenstein Monster Talks. Yeah, fun stuff on there. Just really fun stuff on there. You know. This is The Fog. John Carpenter's The Fog. Another great soundtrack, guys. Just classic stuff. Um, I don't know what else to say. There's the vinyls. I need to change this out, this big old case for this, but two vinyl. Halloween 2018. Another great soundtrack. Uh, John killed it for this. I mean, the best part about the movie, in my opinion, was the soundtrack. So and that's not a knock. That just means I really like the soundtrack. Candyman 2, Farewell to the Flesh. You do get that famous theme. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Dun -dun. So you get what you, you get what you need out of that. Now this is important. This is actual Halloween soundtrack. Uh, that's a fantastic release right there, guys. Um, and it's actually like a, I think it's forty five. You spin it at forty five or thirty three. It's not the regular. I mean, excuse me. It's I think you spin it at seventy eight. Excuse me. You don't spin it at a regular thirty three. So that's interesting. You got to spin it faster for it to play. So fantastic release on that. Here we go. Friday the Thirteenth Two. Another uh, just. Uh, fantastic score guys I, there's not enough not enough i need to say about friday 2 great score love the movie all right guys i know you don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery another great score right there uh, pet cemetery another double vinyl this is very extensive uh it's got everything uh down to the ramones theme at the end another fantastic release saw anthology volume one there's a volume two but i basically get what i need out of here everybody just wants that song hello zep dun 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 dun, dig a dun dun dun. So that's a cool shot. Whoever was working on the song, yeah, great stuff. Uh, Death Vault Halloween Two, another great one. I always like the nurse's cap on there. You know, it, it, it's a shame that Scream Factory didn't do more fun things like this because they released Halloween Two on Blu-ray. They did like the nurse's cap from uh, Haddonfield Memorial. I wish they would do more risque stuff like that. Like do something cool from a movie besides just posters. 
you know, but Halloween 2, a great release. Another fantastic classic, the Monster Mash. Everybody's got to have the Monster Mash in their collection, right? So, you know, that's literally what this is. It's the Monster Mash and some kid who did the coloring maze. So just cute. I'm glad I have that. Um, any video game fans? This is actually uh, Simon's Quest from Mondo. It's a, a seven inch Simon's Quest theme. It's the Nintendo and the Famicom version. So that's great stuff right there. All right, one of my favorite soundtracks I own, guys. This is Rocktober Blood. Love this movie. It's just a classic uh, 80s slasher, low-budget slasher with a killer soundtrack. That's Rocktober Blood, guys. Blood Red Vinyl's on there, so uh, check that out. I forgot where I got it. Um, if somebody wants to know in the comments, I'll let them know. All right, three of the best releases I own. House of a Thousand Corpses, original motion picture soundtrack. This thing is phenomenal. You know, Waxwork Records, just, just amazing. Two LPs again. Extensive, everything you want. It's actually got a lot of audio clips from the movie. So it actually feels like you're watching the movie when listening to that. Here's The Devil's Rejects. This is the sequel. Uh, it, the soundtrack as well. Just a great soundtrack, guys. I, I, like I said, not, not enough needs to be said about these movies that hasn't... Or not nothing I can say, rather. These movies are masterpieces. I just love them so much. And let's top it off with Three from Hell. Another fantastic score. Uh, once again, probably the, my favorite thing about the movie was the score. Another fantastic score from this, guys. It's Three from Hell. Got all these at FYE. The, the House of a Thousand Devils and Three from Hell. It's all FYE purchases. I'm going to put this in here just in case there's any fans because I'm a big fan. This is the Twin Peaks soundtrack. Great show from David Lynch. David Lynch is a mastermind. Uh, very boring looking release, but... Uh, it's got the score. That's what's most important. All right, guys, A Nightmare in Elm Street. This is from uh, Death Waltz as well. Another fantastic score, guys. We all know that the score from Nightmare is just as important as anything from the movie. And it's also half green and half red on the vinyl. A great release, guys. God almighty, it sounds phenomenal. Okay, a big dog right here. FYE exclusive. Stephen King's It soundtrack. Wow, man. This thing is uh, masterful. This score is brilliant. Everything about the score in this in this is just... A 10 out of 10. The guy who did the music for this is a mastermind. Just one of the gor most gorgeous releases I own. So just a gorgeous, gorgeous release, guys. That's Stephen King's It. If you can get your hands on that, please do. The most prized vinyl. An original Return of the Living Dead vinyl pressing. Uh, just, man, I don't know what to say, guys. You know I love this movie. This movie is everything to me that's Return of the Living Dead. I just love it so much. There it is. All right, we got Trick or Treat. Another, I think it's Death Waltz. No, nah, maybe it's Mondo, but it's Trick or Treat. I think it's probably Mondo. Another great score, guys. That dun 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 dun. Great, great soundtrack. Uh, great artwork. I love the kids that were on the bus. Great stuff. Friday the 13th, part three in 3D. Arguably the best score from any Friday the 13th movie. Um, you know, part seven has a great soundtrack with Fred Mullen coming in, but that ba na 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 we all love that right the disco theme great stuff uh if you get if anybody gets into vinyl make this your first purchase this score is fantastic all right single thank you kaylin if you ever watch this are you ready for freddy this is the fat boy single that they did for the dream master which is uh, you know a fantastic movie fantastic score i love every nightmare on elm street and this score is uh this single is fantastic so that's, uh, are you ready for Freddy, the fat boys? All right, this is Night of the Living Dead from Waxwork, guys. Another 10 out of 10 score. This is about as classic as classic gets. Not enough, I can say. This is a great score to listen to when you're just cleaning up around the house and you want to set the spooky mood. It's just that classic sound. Uh, one of the greatest horror movies in the world. I don't think anybody would really argue that. One of the most important at that. So all green vinyl. And last but certainly not least, Dokken Dream Warriors. Nightmare on Elm Street 3 single. We all love Dream Warriors, guys. God almighty. What a song from, from one of my favorite bands on the planet. That's Dream Warriors and that's Dokken. Dokken's one of my favorite bands. So this is the single. This is not the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 soundtrack. And I keep the vinyls in the back, as you can see. So yeah, uh, this song jams, Dream Warriors. So there it is, guys. That's the vinyl collection, the horror vinyl collection. Um, I plan on getting some more, you know. Let me know which ones you think I need that I don't have because it's, it's I always draw blanks. So I'm thinking of, oh, what's a good soundtrack to get? You know, maybe Phantasm would be a great one to get or something like that. So you guys let me know a great score I need to get my hands on that I don't have. Thank you for watching this video, guys. This is Christian Hannah Horror, and we'll see you next time.